Hi guys! No, you are not hallucinating. I am actually here. My gosh, what has it been? Like, um, <laughs> way too long. I feel like it's been close to a year, but it hasn't been that long. Maybe six months. Um, was my hair short the last time I was on camera? I don't even remember. I'm going to see if I can, um, adjust this steering wheel and I can't at all. It won't move. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. I don't even know how to be on camera anymore. Can you tell? It's been way too long. Don't know what I'm doing. feel like I'm just rambling. Um, yeah, I don't remember if my hair was short last time, but I just got it cut again. I had to get it um, trimmed and shaped because it was just looking a hot mess. Um, but I like my hair short. What do you guys think? Compared to how long it was before, do you like it better, long or short? Um, I will tell you I'm really missing my purple hair, but I'm not sure the school district would be okay with me having purple hair. Um, I am substitute teaching again this year at the high school. I am loving it. Um, everything is great. Life is good. I am, I am living the dream. Yeah, um, my dream at least. But yeah, life is good. Things are great. Uh, I am a little bit sick. Hence, today's Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I'm the first one to get sick in my family uh, this season. Got me a nice little cold in my nose. I've, I feel so congested, like just right in here. And just a little bit in my head, but it's mostly like in my nose is where I feel it the most. The most. Um, yeah, we don't have any <laughs> any medicine. I don't know what happened to all of it. Yes, I do. You guys know I declutter a lot. Uh, and recently I went through our medicine cabinet and anything that was expired I got rid of. Uh, so it is now time. Now that I'm sick, I went looking for cold medicine and we had none. Um, I have NyQuil and that's it. And NyQuil is not really great for me to take during the day because it actually does knock me out. Everything knocks me out though. I don't know if I should tell you that, but it does. I'm such a lightweight. Everything knocks me out. Like a leave, I can take one leave, I'm out. And I know there are people that like one to leave does nothing for them. Um, but let us do this Dollar Tree haul. I've got a bunch of tissues in here that I did not buy at Dollar Tree. I bought those the other day and forgot to move them. Um, so let me show you this first. This is really cute. So as soon as I walked in the door, my whole purpose for going today was to get our medicine cabinet restocked so that, you know, because <laughs> we're going to pass this cold around, so we might as well be prepared for, you know, getting rid of them. Um, but as soon as I walked in the door, they have their Halloween stuff that they're putting out now. And I saw <laughs> the cutest mask caught my eye as soon as I walked in. And I don't know if they had this one last year. Um, they have been stepping up the bar like every year for the past couple years during, well, all of their seasonal stuff just seems to get better and better and better every year. And I saw this and I said, you know what? That is really cute for a dollar. I really can't pass that up. Um, so my costume is done now. Bam, boom, I'm done. But they also had, I feel like they might have had this one last year. Um, but I really can't remember. They also have, you know, they always have these scarves, but this one is also uh, a Day of the Dead Sugar Skull print. It is so cute. I love it. And it matches with my, my, uh, mask there. So Halloween, I am all done. I am pretty minimalistic now because, uh, there's really no need for me to dress up a whole lot. I'm just really going with my kid gotta have my caffeine y'all uh but yeah i thought it was really cute very simplistic bada bing bada boom i am done uh so the other day i had to go to the eye doctor because i've been getting headaches really bad and he told me um my vision is actually pretty good um i do maybe have just like a slight stigmatism still but I'm easing up on 40 and once I hit 40 he said it's gonna start getting worse so he went ahead and uh, prescribed me some readers and they're gonna be ready in a couple of weeks but 
I found, come on man, slow down, it's a parking lot. I have seen it, him too, really? Come on, come on, come on. It's a parking lot, not a road. I've seen so many people just speed through this parking lot like nobody else is around. Y'all know that's a pet peeve of mine, and if you don't, you do now. Anyway, I got some, some glasses. That the frames I picked out are like super duper sassy. Uh, but the lady that was helping me, she talked me into them. Because I was like, they're cute, but are they really going to match everything? And then I was like, you know what? You have toned down so much, you've got to get a little bit of your sass back. So, I said all of that because, you know, they have these... Uh, the eyeglass chains at Dollar Tree. I've got a really pretty one that's purple that I got for a costume um, and I still have it and I use it from time to time for my actual glasses uh, that I never wear but I was trying to wear them again so I pulled it out but anyway this one actually kind of matches my frames. Um, this piece right here is very reminiscent of what those frames look like but yeah I'll show you when I get my frames in I will I will show you guys my new frames but I just thought that was really cute because I don't like the ones that hook onto the the uh, arms or the stems of the eyeglasses and just hang I don't like those very much that's the one that I have right now the purple one that I have is like that I don't like those too much this one you just stick you know just loop it through the little circle there and there you go you're done Okay, let's see. Oh, I found these. I used to keep these in my bag in my 20s when I partied really hard. <laughs> because that's what you do in your 20s. Um, but, you know, you'd stay out really late. And sometimes you wouldn't get home until the sun was up. And, um, you know, you'd wake up on other people's couches because you were being responsible and knew you shouldn't drive. Uh, <laughs> or whatever. You just, you just passed out there. I don't know. Um, you know, you just fell asleep there. Anyway, I used to keep these in my purse all the time for such occasions. Um, or if I went overnight somewhere, um, spur of the moment, I just liked to have these so that I knew I could at least freshen up really quick. Um, and I saw these the last time I was in this Dollar Tree and I didn't pick them up and I was thinking, you know, I should have got those. I hope they'll have them next time. And I've been into a couple of other Dollar Trees since then, and they didn't have them. So you guys know every Dollar Tree doesn't carry the exact same thing. Um, so you really should, and I know this, but when you, know, when you see something that you think, I should really pick that up, you should go ahead and pick it up, because it might not be there next time. It likely won't be there next time. Um, and they're probably not going to have it in a different one either. But anyway, these are um, little... Uh, mini toothbrushes and they're really not I don't know they've got these little balls in them and that's where the the freshening scope stuff is um, and they're really just to just to freshen they're not really gonna clean your teeth all that great but they're good to have just to freshen up really quick um, so I'm gonna get these I'm gonna keep them in my purse just so that I can you know freshen up when I feel like I need to be a little bit more fresh um, I got some little Vicks Vapor Drops. These are mine. <laughs> My husband has so many cough drops, it's not even funny. I'm not kidding you. I've got a drawer at home full of cough drops. And the only ones he will he will use is the Ricola. I don't like those. Um, so I got these for me. So I have those. Um, I don't have any congestion in my chest yet, but this is the way my colds work. They start in my nose. By next week, the congestion will be in my chest. Well, actually, it's in my nose. It will move into my head a little bit, and then it will go out of my top region, and it'll go into my chest. So I know I'm going to need those very soon. Uh, I also got... Oh, this is not cold-related, but... Uh, so I have an issue with my left knee and it's it's a reoccurring issue I haven't been to the doctor about it after this time that it's it's messed up I feel like I probably should go to the doctor about it because you know um, like I said I'm I'm easing into 40 and I just don't you know my body doesn't bounce back the way that it used to uh, but anyway 
what happens is it I can tell you what the sensation feels like I don't know that this is exactly what happens but it feels like my kneecap will slide off and slide back on to where it's supposed to be which is is a dislocation um, <laughs> so I either fully dislocated or partially dislocated my knee last Friday it pops back into the right spot so I don't need to go to the doctor and have them do anything to it so I just never have um, this time it doesn't feel like it's healing up the way that it has in the past but I went and got a knee brace um, but it's very bulky it's the adjustable kind it's got the velcro and the three spots I got it at Walmart um, it's a really good knee brace and it it's a stabilizer so it does what it's supposed to do but it's not comfortable I I just have to sleep in it because I'm all over the place when I sleep at night um, and my knee hurts worse when I wake up in the morning than it does if I've just been going about my daily business because I move around so much in my sleep and there's no telling what I'm doing with my leg I, you know, I'm liable to dislocate my knee in my sleep. I'm the person that would do that. Um, so anyway, I've been sleeping in that knee brace and it's not comfortable to sleep in. So I got this little knee support to put on at night. I hope it does not cut off my circulation. I feel like I've gotten this one before from Dollar Tree and it was really tight. Um, but I figure for a buck, if it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, meh, at least I have something. So there's that. Um, got me some antacid because you guys know, like I said, you start getting up in there, getting up in age, and the reflux. I've gotten it under control. I'm not having to take my um, my acid reflux medicine really very often at all anymore. Um, just every now and then I get a little flare-up so I'd like to have those antacid around just for when I get a little flare-up um, I tell you what I've done is I've really tried to reduce the acid in my diet um, and that has helped tremendously going low carb has done wonders for my acid reflux now I am not not like strict keto or strict Atkins or anything like that I have just gone you know kind of tried to minimize the amount of um, carbs and starch really that I take in and that has made a world of difference for my acid reflux I cannot tell you guys if you guys have problems with acid reflux look into doing that and I'm the first one to tell you I am a carbaholic I love my potatoes I love my pasta um, I love rice I'm not huge on bread but like all that starchy goodness oh I love it it has not been difficult for me to cut back on it though so it can be done I promise you it can be done um, oh this just because I needed some more mascara um, this is a wet n wild mascara I feel like I already have a tube of this but it's in my uh, my uh, gym bag and I need something else in my vanity so pick that up for that um, okay if you guys have not used one of these before and you get really bad nasal congestion um, either with a cold or you are just a very sinusy person and you get a lot of congestion in your nose if you have not tried one of these vapor inhalers oh my gosh this is a lifesaver um, I'm actually gonna open it up and show you because I am feeling the congestion right now and I want to show you guys uh, these real quick. I, I bought one before and I feel like I showed you when I bought the last one, but I should have thought about this before. There we go. So it's just a little tube like this. It's not, you don't squirt it or anything. Um, oh, I can already smell it. There's just a little notch in the top of it and you just breathe it in. And there's like, oh, that feels so good. Um, I guess like eucalyptus or some kind of menthol kind of something in there and oh my gosh oh oh I can't even tell you it like almost immediately opens you up a little bit oh that is so good and I definitely needed that it just kind of 
<sighs> opens it up a little bit. So I had to pick another one of those up. The, I gave the last one to my husband, and uh, I'm not going to take it back from him now. Uh, so I got me one. I got me some nasal decongestion, nasal decongestant, uh, because like I said, I get congestion mostly in my headspace. It will move down to my chest, but I can get rid of that really quick. Um, and I get nasal congestion anyway, not just with colds. Excuse me. Um, I am a very sinusy person, and I get congested a lot. So that is something that will be good for me to have in my uh, medicine cabinet. I also got some nasal strips. Uh, I've been wanting to try them for a while, and I just haven't. Um, and my husband snores, snores a lot in his sleep. As do I, apparently. I don't really know. Actually, that's a lie. I do know. Because you guys, my husband recorded me one night. And he played it back for me. Um, he videotaped me, but you can't, if the room is dark, so you can't see me. You can only hear me snoring. And I said, is that you? And he said, no, that's you. And I said, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It sounded horrendous, you guys. Um... So maybe some nasal strips will help us out. Uh, and I don't stay asleep either. So maybe if my airways are open more, uh, maybe I'll be able to stay asleep. I do know uh, we went to the ENT a few months ago. Uh, and I think I told you guys this. No, I probably didn't because I haven't been able to record in a while. Um, my left side of my nasal passage here... Uh, is almost completely non-existent. I am not kidding you. Like, it's like pinhole sized. I am not even kidding you. It is, and like all kinds of jacked up. I don't know. I don't know what has happened. But, um, I have a very, very deviated septum on my left side. My right side, fine, perfect. My left side, no. <laughs> does not work properly it can't breathe through it didn't know I couldn't breathe through it um, this has just been my this is the nose I was born with so I just thought that I was breathing the way I was supposed to breathe until they scanned my head and showed me that yeah you have no nasal passage over there uh, I mean it's there it's just it might as well not be um, <clears throat> yeah so I can't undergo surgery to have it fixed. I just have not convinced myself to do it because it's going to be one of those break your face and reconstruct it kind of surgeries. And I am not sure if I am willing to commit to that because I am <laughs> scared I'm going to come out with a different face. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of partial to the one I have. I, I don't know that I want it to change. Uh, they said, no, you'll come out looking exactly the same. It's not a big deal. But I have seen people that have had that kind of stuff done, and they don't come out looking the same. So, I don't know. I haven't talked myself into it yet. Um, but it would be very beneficial. Uh, the last thing I got is just some Airborne. I've never used this stuff before. Um, I didn't exactly get it for me. I really more got it for uh, my husband because he is scared to death of getting sick. Uh, he says it's because he doesn't, they're in um, a blackout period right now at work, so he cannot call out. Um, I want to say for like the next two months. I don't know why. I think they're doing something with their system at work. Um, so he's not allowed to call out. For whatever reason. Uh, for like the next two months. So he is like not even sleeping in the bed with me. I, call, I found him in the living room sleeping on the couch last night. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, you're sick. I don't want to get sick. I'm going to sleep here. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I sprawled out of the bed and just took over and slept like a baby. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that was my haul today. It wasn't really all that great. Um, the main point of me making this video is just because I haven't been able to, to film in a while. Uh, if you're new here, I feel like I'm going hoarse. <laughs> Hold on one second. If you're new or new-ish to my channel, 
Uh, I film on my phone. I don't have a lot of fancy equipment. I don't feel like I need it. I have a phone. It connects to the internet. Bada bing, bada boom. That's all I need. Uh, but my the phone that I had got a crack. I've got a lot of cracks actually um, across the lens for my camera, so I wasn't able to film. But I have a new phone now, so I'm able to film. And howdy, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> somebody showed past me. There they go. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to film for a while, and now that I'm able, I am really happy, and I feel like I should get back into this. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of time I'm going to have to do it, because I feel like I have no free time anymore. Uh, between the little one started kindergarten, I'm substitute teaching, uh, like I don't know where the time of the day goes now. It's just gone. I have no free time. Uh, so yeah. I'm not sure what kind of time I'm going to have to devote to doing this YouTube thing, but it's really a hobby for me anyway. I don't do it for money. Um, I don't have enough followers to do it for money. I wish I could do this for money. I really do, but it's not. It's really just more of a hobby, just kind of an outlet for me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come back and say hi to you guys because I have missed YouTube. You guys, I haven't even watched any YouTube videos in gosh, like three or four months, something like that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Really just wanted to come on and say hi. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you to those of you who have stayed subscribed to me for waiting on me to come back and uh, continuing to support me. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.